Hello, everyone. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... The fearsome first mate Rakir at your service. And uh, give me just a second to start it up again. Uh, well, yeah, tonight we'll be continuing on with Sunzara, the hidden portal. And let's see. We've already seen this. And um, yeah, this is what happens if you skip the intro. It, it, it's, it's an old game. <laughs> of course, things are going to get wonky. So let's just continue on from where we left off before the before the flowers have too much of a seizure. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, right, I remember now. We need to catch more fairies because the leader of the Shadow Elves won't <laughs> won't dignify us with a fight uh, until we've caught ten different ones total. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three. Yeah, nine. Okay, so we need one more fairy. And for that, we came looking in the dark caves for... Not you... But we'll, we'll fight them all the same, just for some experience. Yeah, we kind of need it. Yeah. Uh, it's the other one that we're looking for. Man Tower. And, uh, I thought that killed it. I freaking... Missed. But, yeah. There we go. Simple enough. And, well, we can... We also get some cash for this. It doesn't look that misty. Hmm. Misty? What? Oh, yeah. Also, this. This is evolving. Oh, evolving. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, you made, you made mist. Yeah. Mist. Okay. Both, both sound so similar, don't they? Mist yeah. and mist. Uh, and let's see. Bonaria does indeed still have difference? lower health. Hmm. If if we had another Viteria, we would be able to directly compare them here. Uh hmm. Yeah, I, I Yeah, her I it is still odd that her hit points went down from her the evolution. But I guess it's uh, supposed to be made up by her massive special stat here. We'll just have to be Perhaps. more careful with getting hit with... Oh, uh, here we go. This is the one we want. Uh, let's see. Pass the movement and receive the, the same damage. Uh, um... Are you seeing the same I'm seeing here, Helium? Not the fact that it's, its wings spin. Look at its wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck? It's like bloody Tails from Sonic. <laughs> okay. Just a few good hits. hits should work with this as long as it doesn't change to its out second set of spells. Okay, now sit. There we go. <laughs> Hello in chat, Noon. <laughs> oh, Hello, Noon! How's the little Noony? There we go, just zap it up, and now we can head out. Yep. Shoo. <laughs> okay, still got that. Uh, yeah, that's our 10th fairy, so now this uh, Shadow Wolf leader should deign us with a fight, though <laughs> him refusing to duel us is probably the smartest idea that he could e ever have, because, yeah, we can't go around him. <laughs> well, yeah. Hello, oh, Noon. Yeah. I'm good over here today. Yeah, doing well. Uh, I got tomorrow off still, and then I'll be back to work. No uh, night shifts or uh, early shifts this time. Uh, we'll be. Yeah, I'll be taking Tuesdays uh, Tuesday off. Otherwise, uh, I'd be streaming four days in a row. Uh, but Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, we'll have to. Uh, good chance that we'll stream then. Uh, did it... Just the weekend, maybe no stream this time. Yeah, because I have work then. It's... Yeah, okay. we, we have to be very... Oh, 
in this case, Helian has to be very flexible with the uh, streaming hours. Yeah. So maybe so, a few days in a row. Yeah, since I, I don't have much control over when I get scheduled in for work. And yeah, it's not known until two weeks ahead of time before uh, when I when I actually have to get to work. So yeah, that is really annoying. For now though, um, we should be good with this group. So let's put down a save and walk up to Chubby. I, I can say Chubby because his, his clothes are too small for his gut. Let's see. Your fairy collection is still very modest, but a little fight wouldn't be bad for training. Cocky motherfucker. Let's see, he has pigs, he has Ferrix, and a new one, Flagwin. And yeah, this is just straight up a dragon. Let's see, nothing special. Well, he's at least given a fairy wings and said they call it a fairy dragon? <laughs> okay, it should be easy enough since, well, it's a, he only has fire fairies, so we should have much less trouble we're just uh, swatting his berries from... Where is this, this one? There it is. Yeah, the last time we had quite some issues with a, f with a few fights because they were using mixed teams instead of, well, single type teams. When it's a single type like this, it's just easy. It's just a... <laughs> it's just a... What's the word again? Uh, it, it's just a conga line Easier? of getting killed. <laughs> Them getting killed, that is. Yeah, this guy is a lot <laughs> easier than the bloody through. dwarf. Or the, all the bloody dwarves were harder than this, I'd say. What the heck was that? <laughs> that was Aquana's victory <laughs> noise. Nazard gets another spell level. Okay, 29. Uh, that's... I don't believe it. How could I ever be defeated? If we meet again, you won't be so lucky, human. And... Poof. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on, a jump jump here. Well, it, it makes sense that it would stick around in a stone pillar, but... <laughs> Still. Also very low level for this area. At only level 10. Yep. And... One shot. <laughs> okay. If I remember correctly, where we're headed now is actually the Dwarven Town. For a moment I was expecting it to throw the bag over the edge. Like that one yeah, Cilia I mean, did. Or... Twice. <laughs> if it happened twice uh, the last time. <laughs> yeah, one was straight over the edge, the other just sent it bouncing around. Until it fell down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a long distance on this one. But they... well... This one should go down just as easily. Uh, let's see. Yeah, normally we'd be streaming monk. No, not monkey. Normally on on this day we'd be streaming Minecraft on Corfell server or all the mods. Uh, but yeah, due to well, due to work, I just pushed everything back and s sacrificed Minecraft. For well, Sinzara and Monkey Island tomorrow, since we're that, well, since we're very close to <clears throat> very close to finishing that game, probably one or two more streams. Yep, um, do we not been abandoning our uh, seven mod server? For we've been working on it on off stream. Yeah, it's not it's not a server still. Just go. Uh, yeah, we're I'm just work, uh, We're just doing a lot of your... work on it off stream. Yeah, to just peak. to get rid of the... Yeah, most of the boring grind. Yeah. Uh, also, apparently, Corv the Corvel server isn't down, or it hasn't ended, at least. 
It's just that apparently a payment didn't make it through. So the server was pulled down for a while. I'll just have to check on if they uh, managed to get it back up. And yeah, our road was blocked there by a boulder. So we can't progress that way. Okay. No guardians? Ooh, a pair no of guardians. Balls. A pair of balls. What the heck? That was probably the poor word of choice. Yep. No. If her, I think the road to Monaga is behind that boulder over there. So, yeah, we can only head towards the mountain peak. Which... Uh, actually, oh no. Then we, can, uh, we can also head over here, apparently. Okay. Or is this... Oh. I'm... There was a sign, but I think we missed it if it was op up right over there again. So, yep, grab more. Uh, 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 it's gonna rejoin. Uh, you're about to rejoin the. I assume that again, yeah. Uh, be right back. Okay. There we go. That, that, I kind of wanted to capture that one, but oh well. And it seems that uh, Bonaria's spell levels also changed, so that the poison attack isn't has been unequipped. Hmm. There you go. Now it should work with normal Lily again. I noticed that my icon was staying up way longer than it should be. Okay. Yeah, Bonaria lost one of her dots here, for some reason. We don't have any good defensive spells to equip on her. Hmm. Is that a weird balance reason to compensate for... ...balance for due to her specials being so much more aggressively stronger? Yeah, that, I think... If I remember correctly, I think I said this in like the second stream or so. That the special is supposed to be a, combina a combination of critical hit chance and uh, the chance that it'll apply a status buff. And I, sp yeah, I see the pixie over there. We can't get to it. So, yeah, my guess is that Bonaria is supposed to be a bit of a crit specialist. Well, a crit and status specialist. Oop. It's probably a very deadly combination. It's probably also why they reduce the health just to not make the, her too OP, overpowering. Yeah. It's still a bit odd to go from uh, a bit of a tank to a crit and status specialist. But then again, I, I guess you could say that the evolutions yeah, for, in this game you... work more like uh, Digimon than Pokemon. Yeah. So at the same time, time you, they could just made it, it like it was just a small health boost instead of going minus. Yeah. An oddity still, but oh well. That's just... Yeah, at least we may have figured out a, some logic behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we could go... Try, we could try and grab those, but I think I'll not. <laughs> It'd be a lot much more likely that it's we accidentally send Amy to down to the... <laughs> <laughs> it's grabbing that, and then we're moving on Wait. because there's a pass passageway over here. Or... I just, I just focus on yeah. how we can reach it. How then? We, we send in noon at it. Noon. We send noon. It, 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 uh, uh, no, D do you know anything about mountain goats in the Rodatus there? Isn't there supposed to be another passageway somewhere here, or did I, am I just completely overlooking it? Uh, there it is. I was just short on it. <laughs> okay, this should lead towards the mountain peak. Yep, noon is here. <laughs> Just ask if you want to volunteer to do some mountain goating of the uh, item. Oh, okay, so... Okay, side fairies can also spawn over here. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, time. Actually, we, we don't even have to fight it. <laughs> All right. Oh, more Shadow Elves, of course. Uh, let's put down the save and see what you have. You have an Air Fairy at the very least. Translate? I still don't wonder if uh, Noon misunderstand me here. Uh, he wanted he wanted to send you out to go grab some coins in a cliff face. And this guy has powerful fairies. And all of them are at the max level. Luckily, we should be able to. Uh... <laughs> now, oh come on! It's this spell again. We should be able to mm. shut down these wannabe Santa Clauses. With just a few hits. Oh, that ha he has a hell of a lot of health for this to take that and not even be at half health. Okay, come on, just charge the spell. There we go. Now just any hit. There we go. And where is... Oh, there you are. You could, you could have easily shot me in the back there. Oh! <laughs> okay, I forgot the... Uh, Noon can also fly. They are a... <laughs> fairy goat? Yep. Okay, come on. Sit still. There we go. Uh, then nope. for chaos... Fairy goats and mounting boat goats are both adorable. Okay. As actually, for stone, we have Mancray now. Even though they are quite underleveled, they should still be able to deal quite a bit of annoying damage to this thing. Don't ask me. Uh, don't ask me why Psychic you know, uh, Psychic is strong against stone. Okay. Yep. Really, you swap from one Cyro <laughs> to the next. Every time I, every time I say Cyro, I um, almost say Psycho, from like <laughs> Earthworm Jim. <Yes. laughs> Pardon? Oh wait, you, you may be me saying it. No, I, I, every time I, I, I every time I, uh, oh, bleh. I haven't been me saying it. I, it's just that whenever. I tried, you know, the first thing I want my, the first thing my mouth kind of wants to say when speaking the names of these ones is to say, yeah, some, is to call them Psycho or Psycho from a uh, Earthworm Jim, not uh, Cyro. It, it's only a, about a one letter difference. You have said Psycho a few times. Maybe? Hmm. Either way... I think you remind me what the he bloody heck his name was. Quite a bit of experience for everyone involved. Mm. That laughter. <laughs> I, I guess it is. I can imagine the Helium having this laugh if we turned him into a fairy. <laughs> Uh, what, what the heck was that? Uh, what, what, what element or type would I even be then? <laughs> Air and water. Hmm. Oh, and this is well <laughs> the mountain peak, and of course since it's a mountain, it's snowy. But first, let's actually turn back a bit because I think there was a second passage that we didn't look around. <laughs> <clears throat> that we didn't explore. Alright. Ah, there you are. Okay, yeah. now fuck it. <laughs> okay, time for a drink. I didn't intend to capture it. We just 
Well, landed quite up on top of it. <laughs> okay, let's not capture this one. <laughs> since we already have one. <clears throat> okay. I kind of like it... that I can give you the option to decide if you want to keep it or not. Yeah. I, I'm not sure you could do that in the older Pokemon games. Um. Oh, well, in the... Nope. Oh, Bell Tower. This is the evolution of Mentor. Uh, well, in, in the Pokemon games, you have to expend resources to even attempt a capture. So, yeah, you're already expending uh, resources, so it doesn't really make sense for you to ask, uh, do you, are you really sure you want to capture this thing you've been chucking balls at for like five minutes straight? <laughs> Uh, it, here is more easy to accidentally capture something, unlike Pokemon. Yeah. So on Pokemon, you would... You would go out of your way to make sure you throw something at it. Here you can accidentally do it. Where, I'm getting tired of this freaking teleport spell. Yes. Uh, for this... Okay, was that fast enough? No, that was not fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> Very annoying, and, well, you see what it's... That's the second time now that we've actually, well, had a fairy die because they fell into the abyss due to the freaking teleport. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Yeah. I, that is a very almost unfair skill. Almost. Actually, we could have caught it for the for the book of fairies, but yeah. Okay, healing herbs bring you back. Uh, let's give you some as well, and the rest are good. Okay, let's see what is. Yep. Yeah, okay, it's just some loot. <laughs> Immediately regain the ones that we used. All right. Well, back to the mountaintop. And, well, it's a pretty easy guess as to who we'll be fighting with mostly. Uh, this guy? Yep. Actually... Getting a Tinazord is probably one of the best early moves you can do in this game. Simply because Ice Fairies are such a pain to deal with. And well, the other ones they are also effective against. Okay, time to get some payback, Fitting yeah, Bonaria. And this one isn't spamming the freaking. Wait, is. I, th I think that one was using the. Let's see. Yeah, I, it's using the reflection spell. So all the damage we do is dealt back. Okay, yeah. Again, Cypheries can be really annoying to deal with, as, well, is probably more than clear by now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, how did the... Okay, one more good hit should deal with it. Just need to find the time to charge the spell. And not get zapped ourselves. Okay, one more. <laughs> and there goes Tinazard. Come on. Wait, what? What just happened there? Did... I don't think we poisoned it. So how did it... Okay. But yeah, that stupid thing took down three of our fairies. Ugh. Uh -huh. And now let's frick. <laughs> well, there goes any benefit we had from going back. Nope. Renaria also needs some mana. It's, it, it's, we're lucky that 
we're lucky that uh, healing items are so bloody cheap in this game. Okay. Let's just move on from the freaking Psy Fairies and onto the mountaintop. Okay. And yeah, where we meet like, We're This is cheap in these, like... It, when I think about it, on Digimon Cyber Sleuth, I would have bought a little bit high healing in the start. I never need to buy them at all since I kept getting them as rewards for beating other Digimon. So I barely need to even buy them to begin with. Yeah, I don't think I bought a single healing item whenever I... Well, through my entire playthrough of that game. Uh, mostly because... Well, you, <laughs> your own Digimon get healing abilities that are a lot more useful than healing items. That and then the heal will level up. If you have those uh, things that help them level up faster, you just make, make it so much easier. Yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> How about one coin? Uh, some of these fairies can be really spiteful with where they throw their distraction money. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Let, let's see what happens if we just stick here for a bit. It, it actually seems to have a harder time hitting us when we're standing still. I, I, of course, I say that and immediately it does that, huh? It's been happening a lot lately. Of course. <laughs> Does that look like a mix between a teddy bear and a wolverine? A bit. And a... Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, that might also be something to add in on, on a remake of this game, that it doesn't throw, yeah, throw too much of the stuff over the edge. <laughs> Yeah. And that's where we'll be teleporting in after we get the rune of this place. Though I don't think there's too much reason to come back here. I, I guess this would be a pretty decent place to actually XP farm. Since, well, if you have a fire fairy, things will be a lot easier. And I believe there is at least one more yeah. uh, line in... Yeah, Ice Fairy line. And let's let's actually capture one of these just for the Actually, was this a gre Let let's do, let's let this one go away so we can capture one of its evolved forms. Do we have an Ice Fairy? And nope. More reason to have one then. Okay, the ice caves. Oop. Of course. Yeah, I, I get the feeling. <laughs> I get this a strong feeling of why. Yeah. Now I, I I don't think I even need to see it. You know, say it at the moment. Of wait, what? Oh come on. Yeah, this game has a lot of fairies. Of course it does. It's the, the driving force. I, I'm pretty sure... Was Bonaria <laughs> at full health there? It, unsure. Uh, is... Are we going to get beaten again by a single bloody Psy Fairy? Ugh. Yeah, uh, it's just really, it is, it's just so fucking annoying with their abilities, and their spells seem to charge really fast for the amount of damage that they do. Okay, Bonaria. Yeah, wake like up if they do remaster, some balancing is needed. 
Or at least making the side ferries less annoying. Okay, moving on. Oh, Pixie. No, even on Pokemon, uh, those character Pokemon were very annoying. Like, they went out of their way to paralyze you or more often they tried to make you sleep. Yeah. Are we really just going to Ooh, chase this thing around? Come here, little bugger. Yes, when I give you a Vulcan pinch. Okay, is there a trick or something to this? Yeah, it, it is just going around in a circle. There is a... There's a dead end over that way, though, so maybe we can chase... Oh, no, that's the dead end, burns. Hmm. Okay, let's give up on that one for a bit, because it's either just a little bit faster or just as fast as us. So we just can't catch up. Okay, this time I can... Keeping a... Oh, I think I know what's been going on. They've been using the freaking reflection spell so that we deal a massive amount of damage to ourselves as well. We'll, we'll have to keep an eye on if there's a shield above the, any Psy Fairies that we fight. Because that's probably the sign that they're using the reflection spell. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, uh, the, when they reflect, does it the same damage it would done to it, or multiply it? Like, we try to shoot it for a certain amount, but it reflects act back at you for twice the damage. Yeah, it's the same amount. That's uh, specifically what it says All in right. the spell's description. Oop, different area. That's right. But then huh? again, I guess, if it was twice amount back, that, that would be a bit... Too much, yeah. Extreme. Yeah, just too much. Okay. I think that is the way that we need to go to progress. So, of course, we have the other way to see for if there's any more loot for us to find. Oh, like a runestone. Rune of the Ice World. Okay. And I think most of... Uh, yeah. Most everything else that we'll find will probably be uh, crystals. And crystals are valuable for that's what it was want here apparently instead of gold. And okay, that's the way back out. Okay, so it looks bigger in here than it actually is. We'll have to figure out how to catch that pixie another time though, since I don't feel like chasing after it for 15 whole minutes. And there was we're a bit of an error visible there for a second as we walked back in. That uh, the oh. world was loading in still. Oh. Uh, should be... Oh, wait. Did we do a circle? Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, now I'm getting disorientated myself, so let's try it this way. I, I think the I think the pixie is actually taking a different route this time, maybe. Uh, for now, let there we go. <laughs> Completely by accident, found the correct way again. Yep, come on. Okay, with these psi fairies. Let's see. Prevent status changes. Opponent receives the same amount of damage inflicted. Okay. Is there really no escape point? No, there's no escape point. <sighs> yeah. Yes. But the escape point was a uh, high rock. No, that's just that's above where we can actually fly. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're we're going to have to do something about this bloody reflection spell. Uh, 
actually, I I'm going to stock up on garlic atomizers just to get rid of these, you know, just to skip these fights. Yeah. Just yes, uh, they probably gonna need to start using the garlic. I'm going to have to check the. Uh I'm not even sure if this game has a t has a TV tropes page. Wait. Oh, hello. Okay, so that disproves one thing. They actually have a mana pool as well that wait, they wait, have what? to drain out. It killed itself with uh, self damage. Okay, wait, so the, what? The enemies do play by the same rules that if they run out of mana, they start killing themselves with attacks. Or at least wild fairies do. I did not know that part. That, that explains why sometimes we have gotten wins, even though we haven't had an actually shot our targets. That's a, that's actually a nice detail. That well, that they actually have to fight by the same rules. Because typically enemies like that would get infinite ammo, so to speak. Because I'm pretty sure. Uh, in like every Pokemon game, that e every wild or trainer battle, uh, in in every in every battle, that the enemy has unlimited amount uses of every move that they have. Because if you run I out of uh, if you run out of moves in a Pokemon in a fight, then your Pokemon will be forced to use an un, uh, the, the move struggle. Which is basically to just, uh, well, hit them, w hit them with a weak amount that actually also damages yourself. And it was a complete accident that we found this. It's been a bit since we've seen others. And I hello. did not know that. Probably, uh, I didn't know that. Probably because I never had that issue arise. Lasse, it's happening to see you, Aimee. I'm still looking for my father, Quinlan the Dwarf Master, but I'm not having much luck. It's driving me to despair. I think we met this guy at Tyrolin. I couldn't find a trace of him, neither in the woods nor the swamps of Sanzara. So I crossed the mountains and became stuck in this horde cave. There are vicious wild fairies everywhere. I've been trapped in here for days and I hate the cold. I'd be eternally grateful if you could find all the fairies and drive them away. Be careful though, the fairies could be hiding in any corner of this damp cave. Okay, so he actually wants so us to that's go... that's how you pronounce that name. Hmm? Uh, Lasse, Sorry. you mean? Uh, yeah, we, this we'd say Lasse. Not sure if the no, way I say it is how you should... We say Lasse. <laughs> uh, uh, how do you pronounce it again? Yeah, I, I just pronounced it as Lasse. So, like Lassie, but without oh, the I'm not sure if that's All the right, correct uh, pronunciation. A, I think that's closer. No, I thought you said it, uh, thought you tuned out the E a bit more softer or something. A freaking... It used to be a very common name in Sweden. Okay, as long as this thing isn't using the stupid reflection spell, I'll, I'll take the spinning. Now, I think I just heard one of the cats meow. Meow. Okay. Okay, whatever gets us out of this thing's firing line quicker. And I think Bonaria's getting back up in her levels again. Or in her health again. Hmm. I, we, Wait, hold on. Hold hmm? on. What? Did I just now throw the coins too far for us to reach? Yep. Oop. Uh, I was thinking for a bit there. You know, since we brought up this Pokemon... This already a spiteful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, since we brought up Pokemon, we could one day stream Cyber Sleuth, though it would be quite a long game to stream. And, well, we've both played yeah, it to the end. Yeah, uh, uh, I know we 
talked about it in that game before about streaming it. But do remember, it is very long, but easy to grind off screen. However, I think I think you, you, I hope you remember what we came to conclusion. There's another problem with the uh, Cyber Sleuth. Especially with the second game. Mm. The cutscenes. Yeah, they are or, so bloody so long. Here. Sometimes. Yes. Yeah, especially the second one. Like it's still damn good storytelling, but sometimes when you when they start talking and you have to read, it can be almost take forever and I had uh, sometimes problems to read and that I had to reread it several times. Hey, okay, one more fairy. This is a pretty nice cave, all things considered. Oh yeah. yeah, it looks nice and really well lit. But yeah, I would love for us to stream Cyber Sleuth. But I'm not gonna deny the issues with it where i feel like that, that's <laughs> one of the games that we could say that like over time what just happened uh, i th i think amy fell into the back rooms because <laughs> she no clipped through the floor <laughs> okay don't tell me that that what reset the button. <laughs> that's that's actually the first time i've had that happen i think <laughs> okay was that a glitch? Yeah, of course that was a glitch. You're not supposed to fall through the freaking floor. <laughs> and yeah, that seems to have reset the amount of fairies that we have to fight. Uh, <sighs> okay. This time, save of each battle just in case. Yeah. Oop, oh, Tadana. And let's see if this counts for th this as well. Since, well, we're fighting. Yep. And actually, we can capture you. Actually, no, that's a, a gold uh, sphere. So let's not. I, I mostly want. I want to preserve our golden and crystal spheres for. For creatures that could, for fairies that could actually join us in fights. Oh, well. <laughs> Seems we didn't capture them after all. Okay, safety save. We're saying safety save is a bit of a. What would the word. It's a bit of a. <laughs> it's basically saying the same thing twice. And yeah, that did count. So. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's like the, the Sahara Desert. Or uh, the Great Sahara Desert. When you translate Sahara to English, it basically becomes the Great Great Desert Desert. <laughs> so, like a uh, Tetsu 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 in My Hero Academia, whose name literally translates uh, that, to Steel uh, Steel. <laughs> Steel, 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 steel. Or was it Iron Iron? Or uh, something like that. Maybe his, maybe his parents were called Iron Iron. Okay. We should try and get. I'm going to move Aquana up front so she can get some experience again. Dinosaur oh, has no. been caught up. I just had a quick. flashback. Hmm? I, I once named a character in World of Warcraft, a shaman of the character from Shaman King. Horror okay. horror. <laughs> Only to know from an uh, old Finnish friend telling me that uh, while it's a fine Japanese name, it has a trans it translated something else in Finnish. And what would that be? Hooker hooker. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I ended up uh, not keeping that character. Luckily, it was like a throwaway character for what server I was trying out. Yeah. But still, <laughs> still, I was caught off guard. 
And it, it, me, of course, immediately it swaps to that stupid spell. Okay, we'll just have to grin and rough. grin and bear it. Well, that would have worked better as a saying if we'd uh. still equipped these. If we had equipped the dumb bear in our deck. Pardon. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to have to outlast this thing until it yep, until it runs out of uh, mana and shot wasted. Where is it? So, okay, you're just dancing around at the edge here. I <laughs> completely Ain't missed that, that shot. Dancing near the edge. Uh, not that I'm aware of, at least. Okay, actually, let's try and capture you. That one, I'm a metaphor for... Oh, are you sure about that? And not when we're slowed like this. There we go. Uh, let's double check in the Book of Fairies, but I think... Aquana should evolve at level 32. Yep, level 32. There we Again? go. Again! Oh, oh, there yeah. you go. Uh, wait, yeah, we, wait, wait, we wait, 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 to save. Yeah, before we know Save to again. save. Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, one of the best places to grind for XP would probably be somewhere where there are two spawn points for water fairies. So we can just swap between them every time. And let's see, only one more to go. Oh dear. Yeah. Hmm. And this, this platform keeps disappearing. Not that we need it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, wait, if you no clipped, would that mean... Is that almond water? Okay, that must be a joke or reference I'm not getting. It's a backroom reference. It's one of the main waters people drink in the back rooms. Okay, that I didn't know. And I forgot to revive... With, I forgot to revive Bonaria. Okay. A at least this thing doesn't have the reflection spell equipped at the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, it doesn't. I was to say it has, but now it's another symbol that's over his head. Yeah, the shield is the... The, the, the icon de depicts more like the type of passive spell it has equipped. Uh, with the, uh, if there's a fairy symbol, it means that they have something to do with mo uh, mobi mo yeah, mobility. Uh, a shield is, well, defensive. And the, well, the, the plus is for something healing, I presume. Is there actually a specific word for that, like a healer's cross or something? I think Healer's Cross is a term, but uh, more for your, uh, well, crusaders and monks doing uh, medicine, I think. Uh, hospitaliers, I believe those are called. Yeah, I think something like that too, yeah. And sin since healing items are so cheap, I might as well be a bit wasteful with them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now let's get you out of this well. Some games you. Ooh. <laughs> because his name is um, wait, wait. almost Lassie. Oh, come on! <laughs> you found all four wild fairies in this cave and wrote them out. You were brilliant. At last, I can uh, leave this cold tomb. Take this precious elementary key of air as a sign of my thanks. I found this old dwarf relic when I was traveling through the caves. 
Now I can carry on looking for my father, the lost dwarf master. He must be here somewhere. He, he must be somewhere. See you soon, Amy. And off he goes. Wait, hold on. He looks familiar. Okay, unless my mind is playing to go with me. Was he based on Lassi Edman? Or. Can't say I'm familiar with whoever that oh, wait, is. I, I don't show myself if that's a, a celebrity or not. An Edman would translate to who has Oatman. Okay. But. Um... We, we have several celebrities with the name Lasse. I'm just going to s skip through this area with the runestone, and then... Oh, but there's a golden sphere that we missed. Then I'm going to check out the other way that we didn't go earlier. A bit precarious that we have to get... <clears throat> that we have to walk close to the edge to get even, to even get away from the portal stone. All right. Um, we're likely to get attacked by another Ice Fairy as we go, so let's just move Tindazard up, refill his mana, and continue on. Hello. I think we have like ten or a dozen of those now. Let's actually take a look. Yep, exactly a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ilya, do you see that? Next yeah, to you. There's, a, there's another one. Out in the... Yeah, that, that means that there's sparkles somewhere. What the heck? Yeah, there, there's sparkles somewhere to make a platform or pla multiple platforms reappear there. And yeah, we could get that if we, we had the elemental card of air, which we don't. Pardon? Pardon? Let's see, what is this way? Uh, transition and hello. Hello. That's an, that's an element, that's an evolutionary stone there, but it's, oh, hello, glaces. This is the other ice line that I'm, I remember. And uh, yeah, it's basically uh, a miniature okay. ice queen. <laughs> In a leotard. Wait. She wear a leotard with royal roots on. Okay, okay, that's a bit of a new combo. <laughs> Basically, oh Elsa, if uh, <laughs> Frozen was 18 plus, I'm guessing, <laughs> or anything let's... other than. Uh... Ilya, no, Ilya, let's not enter that territory. There is. I already know there's way too much 18 plus fan out of those characters. Yeah, there's basically of every character ever. Okay, another level for Tinder's yeah. art. Catch and even though we should not have that kind of fan art. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, now that we have all three of the keys that we need, let's go to the Dwarf Tower. And then we can use the uh, the Dwarven Elevator. It should be right next to us. Uh-oh. Actually, let me double check. How much do we I'm have worried. in healing items? A good amount. And we have almost 2,000 uh, 2, coins. Yeah. Let's go up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I remember uh, there not being an end to that thing during the up going up part. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Moving the platform with a screw. This must be the forgotten realm of clouds. And for the first time in uh, what, like four streams or so, Amy speaks up <laughs> outside of her idle chatter. Good to see you, Amy. Uh, don't you think the realm of clouds is simply breathtaking? 
There's no other place like it in all of Zanzara. Nowhere where the magic is as, di yeah, as distinct or intangible as here. Once upon a time, the floating isles were densely populated by elves and goblins, and even the dwarves loved coming here. They celebrated in the Eastern Pavilion. The fairies competed in magic duels in the Great Arena in the north. Their magic lived in, uh, lived in the mystical White Cathedral, the heart of Zanzara. But all this was a long time ago, and nowadays the temples lie in ruin, yep. and only wild air fairies play among the ruins in untamed platinum life. Complete your mission, Amy, and recreate the old glory of the clouds. Art is gonna art, I guess. From noon. And yeah, I can agree with that. And there's, there's one thing I about since. I wish. Yeah, but, but, I'm not. What's <laughs> a Tinnifle doing all the way up here? Well, have you seen what he rides? Yeah. But still, this is pretty high up for a nature fairy. Yeah, but yeah, go on. Uh. All oh, right, I want to say a giant screw as an elevator is a horrible idea. <laughs> yeah, and unless you have like a part of it that doesn't move. Uh, let's yeah, see, and, have... and the way she spun up. I feel like I would probably vomited horribly from that. Yeah. I just at least clang flatly to the floor of that thing. And then you'd have to deal with centrifugal, oh, for centrifugal force and forces. And here we have yeah. the other airline. <laughs> I just I, that was an accidental pun. <laughs> airline. <laughs> the line of air, oh, another dear. line of air fairies. Okay, uh, no Tinazard because they we are should... weak to flame. We should probably capture these ones, but these ones are really uh, are strong ones. Uh, let's capture one of the evolved versions, though, because I believe these are also a three-stage line. Oh, all right. And wait, where did I leave? Or did I put it back in the box? The uh, the type charts. No, I did not put it back in the box. Where the hell is it then? Uh, ah, here it is. Okay, just fish that out. Oh, no, no, you put the cat in the box. Okay. I'll just put it aside here and put the box back over there. Okay, at least this one wasn't being spiteful by chucking it over the edge. Yeah, as, it, as I keep trying to say, there's something interesting about Zanzara that this decay has been going on for a long ass time already. It's a it's a place of myth that has most well, some of its own parts uh, go to waste and turn into myth and uh, legend. Almost seem, almost makes it feel like it's a, a bit apocalyptic or, or something. Since well, obviously the heydays of this place have, are long gone. And probably, not, probably uh, got lost like ages ago already, long before the shadow elves appeared. Here we go. Got you. It ended up being in a decline for a while. Yeah, li likely centuries, and we're capturing this one because we do need... <laughs> not even going to bring the ball up, Amy. Someone's getting lazy. What? What? Why did we have... I'm concerned, Poot. Yeah, that was almost a busy uh, a zoom in on her butt. Where are you? Oh, you're coming from the pillar. Yeah, we're going to need an air fairy for when we find the elemental air cards. Oh, it's still got a hit in there, and as you can see, uh, air is very useful, is very strong against water types. I guess that makes sense. Oh. There we go. I'll take that, but not escape, otherwise it would not count. 
And yeah, the, the arena's here when we're fighting air fairies looks makes it look like we are zooming we're on an arena that's zooming through the air. We're in the middle of a tornado. Basically the eye of the storm. Yeah. Careful. The, the only part of the, a storm, like a tornado or a hurricane, that where the wind is completely still. And that's the very center of it. Because I think Already it might be the safest area you can be in uh, the eye of the storm. But if you are in an eye of the storm, um, you want yeah, to you're basically moving. trapped. Yeah. Yeah, ma make sure you move along. With the eyes of the storm and don't get behind it, unless you, yeah, get thrown away. Okay, this way is blocked off, so, well, only one other way we can go, and... Oh, I hear a pixie. Uh, there it is, little bastard. Oh, I see sparkles. Uh, is that like... Yes, there's some sparkles. Be careful not to fall off. <laughs> Wait. Ah, there they are. Okay, we can climb these. And at least we're not leaving this area empty-handed then. Yeah, there you are. Vulcan Pinch! <laughs> okay, 13. Uh, ha had Ready? I accidentally made that into a meme? Vulcan Pinch. Uh, don't think so, unless people start using that a lot. Yep. Okay, there we go. No need for any special magical platforms. I'm probably going to get attacked here again. Yeah, all the more experience See? for Aquana, or apparently not. Then we'll be heading uh, that way. Shouldn't you save here? Uh, it, it already saves when we're passing uh, to, a not, to a new area, so there's no real need to save at every possible point. And uh, yeah, do. we've got a bit of a, a ways to go on this walk. Yeah. It's always good to see sometimes to not lose progress for... Oh, like Pokemon, this, this game can quickly become harder than Pokemon. Uh, Hello, uh, yeah. This is the evolved version. This is Luria. And... Let's actually try and capture you. Since, well, you are new. And... There we go. Only one more level until we say get to see Aquana's final stage. Yes, let's capture it. I, I hope we don't get a point where we have to have where we have to have a certain amount of fairies caught again. But if we do, we do still have a good amount of yeah. Uh, <clears throat> spheres to capture with. Yep. And we know most of them most are. Ooh, hello. Well, we know places Wait, where we how? can find new fairies at least. How did they get here before us? Oh, they've been teleporting away every, you know, every time, so... I presume they can also teleport to places. Let's see, Turnox, Dark, Syro, Plumar. And we've seen all of these before. The only one we don't have a type advantage against is Goop. And yeah, I'm get I think this is going to be uh, where Aquana is going to evolve. Here Wait. we go. Hide away, hide I away. Heard, I heard stock footage sound. <laughs> now, the roar, you mean? Uh, yeah. It's, 
That is a rule I heard many times before. I've actually been hearing a lot of noise, a lot of noises from this gate. Got you still. Uh, again, recent in other games recently, like the the, the door opening noise, uh, the jingle for picking up coins like that. I've also been hearing that noise again lately in other games. Uh, number three. Okay. Yeah, those are some really easy things that only a few would bother making their own for. Okay, this should be easy enough. They don't have any defensive spell equipped. I, I do like that they have that little hint as to what spells your opponent has equipped. Since, yeah, if it wasn't for the, the symbol, like the shield, oh, not doing that, uh, we wouldn't know if a hit against an, a, a fairy would, well, hit us with, for just as much damage or not. That was a yeah, bad decision on your point. That would turn rather chaotic with me. And the last one. Oh, there you are. I was about to ask, where are they? <laughs> they just reveal themselves. Oh, can we get this last coin? Yep, just in time. And... Oh, come on. 12 experience short. I think the amount of it again. <laughs> uh, I think the amount of experience that the fairy gets is actually dependent on if they made an appearance during whilst fighting uh, one of the fairies. So, for example, if we were fighting someone with two fairies and we have uh, one fairy that uh, <clears throat> we defeat one of them with a, only one fairy without swapping out, oh, then the the. To my knowledge, all the experience from that kill would go to, well, the fairy that defeated it. But on the other one, oh, actually, we need to be, uh, yep. On the other fairy, if you have a different fairy, you swap out to a different fairy, then, then I believe the experience would be split 50-50. Or at least that what's I'm, that's what I'm guessing from my own experience. Uh, well, similar like to Pokemon then. Yeah. Okay, didn't get the kill, but enough of the same to evolve into Oceana. And okay, now we I already have one. I'm curious how she looks now, then. We can take a look right now. Let's see, four, three, four, three, pretty good. This creature is found where bubbles of air meet the waves. It can use its skills from the underwater world brilliantly, even outside that realm. Oceana considers herself the strongest untrained water fairy alive. And she actually covered up more. That, that picture is so small. You can get a bit of a look here, but that's probably even smaller. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll take a good look at the next fight, when we get the close-up. Actually, it re reminds me of something. Uh, I've been thinking on maybe ditching the overlay, or at least cutting out more of it. And basically enlarging the gameplay window, or just going completely full screen with it, with just bits showing over... But that would then we'd have to put uh, chat and such over the over the game plays itself more. Yeah, that, that is kind of risky. Freeze lock, which looks exactly the same as its pre-evolution. And here we have her, Oceana. Her face did not improve. <laughs> yeah. Her power, though, should have improved plenty. And this is the first time we're seeing this arena. Holy. 
I don't think there are too many different arenas left, though, and you stop dancing on top of that thing. Okay. Bonaria. Yep. Of course it's out of sight when I can actually launch the freaking... Oh. Yeah, we are not facing against that with a nature fairy. Come on. Yep, I've still got the hit in. And then we swap back to Bernaria to deal with the Psy Fairy. Stupid rapid fire. Aquana. Or Oceana. Uh, there you are. Okay. Yep, oh, he got away. Bonaria again. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of something, but I've forgotten what. Mm. Oh yeah, I still need to take a look at what... Oh, oh don't... Bad spot. I, mean, I still need to take a look at what fairies we could... We should get to fill in any gaps. In, or any weaknesses that uh, our team currently has. Uh, mostly, we'll probably put away Mancray because he's mostly useful against stone fairies. So we can bring him up when we're passing through a st an area rich in stone fairies just to make things easier. Nope, 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 nope. Those are very effective against ice, uh, against water and nature. Nope, no you don't. Um, but I think we should have uh, most bases covered. Because, uh, yeah, enemy fairy masters will typically... Still got a hit in. Uh, enemy fairy masters will generally stick to only a select... They won't go for the entire uh, roster of, oh, of available fairy types. They mostly prefer dark, oop, chaos, and ice, and Psy as well. We've seen a few with uh, stone fairies, but we haven't seen any with nature fairies, for example. We have seen them use water fairies and air, and we have the bases on most of those covered. I'll just have to... I'll just have to double check what other types they might use as well. But we should have most of everything covered. Maybe I'll work... Maybe I'll train up Darbieu, the energy fairy, to deal with water types. But beyond that, I think our fifth slot would be pretty interchangeable. Where... Okay. <laughs> this one has such a beef with us that they attack us through a wall. Okay. Let's simply offer them a light and be rid of them. Okay. Roasted chicken! Roasted chicken! Roasted chicken! <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's actually a a level cap in this game or not, but I think most of the time by the end of this you should be having fairies were at level 50 or 60. Well, I... Okay, send you off. And there's another transfer portal. Still, let's take a look around for any loot. Like this here. Small healing potion. And let's not fall to our death and lose all of the progress again. Uh, wait, you you have small waves equipped still? Uh, yeah, there was because Hail of Needles wasn't actually that useful. Call of the Water. Oh, oh yeah, we were using that one before, so let's put that in. Put that there as a backup. And let's see. We don't have anything there that we can use on Mancray. 
don't think so. Um, actually, small spirit one two five. Oh, one one five. Hmm. I'll I'll keep that one equipped since insanity is fires a lot a hell of a lot slower. And um, yeah, we still can't get any spell, any other spells for Tinazar. So that that is the major weakness of getting him early on. But yeah, he's the only fire fairy that we can get early on. Uh, yeah, that makes things trickier. Yeah, he is extremely useful. Oh, hello, Cloud Rune. But it's, it's just that he he's going to be restricted to that single spell that he has for quite a while still. And hello there. You were saying? Yeah, this one should only have air spells, I believe. Or light spells. Let's take that one. Powerless spirit, air. And actually, we... We could choose between Darbieu or one of the f air fairies that we b uh, took because they are also strong against uh, air, sp against water fairies. Ah. Upward winds that is twenty percent faster jump energy recharge. Very it, well. It makes sense, of course, for that air fairies are extremely mobile. Gazer, 40%, so double of the other. I'll yeah, take the is not exactly simple inst. Uh, every fairy wish probably comes with that spell. Reflection, okay. Light fairies are very rare, and we should only be able to get those in the end game, I believe. And hello there. Yep. And of course, that is blocked off somehow. <laughs> I just realized something. How mm -hmm. the heck did it build the bridges? <laughs> Magic. Point and taken. Another boulder here. Oop. Goriel. This is the. Either the starting. Hmm. I'm trying to remember now how the line of the, how the evolutionary line of this fairy goes. We, we know the end of it, but I don't know if this is the start or the middle of it. No, out of jump ability. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I really can't remember if the if this is a two or three step. At, Line. Yep. <laughs> One point away from evolution again. Uh. I I think I'm I I'm probably going to be able to make a montage or something from this you know, from streaming this game where of all the times that they're just one experience point away from ev <laughs> from the next level. I think that happened to me many times in Pokemon and Digimon games. Uh, hello? Could it be? These are the words of the prophecies contained. <laughs> yeah, Gandalf a bit. Actually, I don't remember when this game, if this game, game, game came out before or after uh, the whole Gandalf the White thing. I think actually before. Before, or in the movies, at way least. Way before. <laughs> yeah, these, way before. These were the uh, words of the prophecies contained in the Winged Books. The human will come uh, who will bring great change. They told of the greatest fairy master of all time, but they can't have mean to you, surely. Prove your abilities to be uh, to me and defeat the, yeah, the sinister shadow elves. Their numbers are increasing, and they are a plague to my realm. They are searching for the fairy card of Earth. Yep. And they... Well, now we know how they get everywhere. They just <laughs> boom in everywhere. 
Challenge them and send them back to the Shadow Realm. There is no other way you can convince me that you are the chosen one. And yeah, this is a this is a nice take actually on the whole chosen one uh, trope. That they actually don't believe you are the chosen one that actually sent you to go prove your fucking self. <laughs> Instead of just falling on their knees uh, because the prophecy said they, they, it would be them. A human being, you're a ridiculous well, it, opponent. It is, it, you... Uh, uh, it, yeah, the, but it is a trope I've seen many times before, but it's kind of become less common for some reason. Probably because people are getting tired of it. Uh, what? <laughs> what the heck is that? And here we have a Segbuzz, which is a new type. Or, well, is a new... not a new type, it's a new fairy, yeah, along with this one. I think this one is actually a nature fairy. And yeah, looking at this post, this is actually a nature fairy, so I was wrong before. They do use some nature fairies. And yeah, this one is Chaos. So, yeah, we just we just have to switch between Tinazard and uh, Bonaria to defeat these. Practically instant killed. What the heck? If my memory serves me, still got a hit. And he swaps to one that is still vulnerable to this type. If I remember correctly, we should be able to find a magic merchant in Monagod, a dwarf town, or city. Uh, where? Uh, oh, come on, this. Uh, it's the slowing spell. Or the slow charge spell. Anyway, in Monaga, we should be able to find freaking... We should be able to find a magic merchant that sells fire spells. Okay, now I'm just getting sick of this thing. It's a, yeah, it's, it's not only Psy fairies and such. It, it, oh, you're... Your chaos, so Bonaria. Yes. Bonaria probably has the prettiest wings of all the fairies, or at least all the nature fairies, since well, they're, they're practically <laughs> they look extremely like uh, butterfly wings. Ooh. Still got hit. St still survived. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Oh, no, it I do like that it has that uh, loud sound to notify you that hey, you're you are going to start hurting yourself to cause this. Oh dear. <laughs> I could hear the side fairies doing the Gangnam style. <laughs> uh. You're a troublesome beast, and one day I'll have my revenge on you. Yeah, get in line, you and the three dozen other Shadow Elves I've already kicked out. Before we do this, just double checking. Health is good because of evolutions. Mana is good. Oh. Are they... Can I start to re... Oh, Don't forget okay. to save. You do re regain Ooh. some mana on uh, leveling up as well, it seems. Because Tinnosaur was out of mana. Oh, nice. Human being, you're a ridiculous opponent. Do you dare challenge me to a fight? Yeah, you're very original, you. You say the exact same as the other guy. And... Okay. A Rasro has been a bit since we've seen those. It grease, picks, and it has been a bit longer since we've seen a skill jaw. So, nature, fire, water, and nature again. Oh, wrong. <laughs> I was, you know, plan I wanted to swap to Bonaria, not Tinazard. Their job comes now. Okay. Just a mobility spell on them. And... 
Yeah. The Grease line of fairies is probably the least... Uh, <laughs> the least creative of them all, since they're all just polar bears. But only, the only real difference being in how big they are. They would be good, would be a good idea that uh, yeah they do get an upgrade or any reworks or fan reworks. Go, one more hit. Yeah, though I wonder. A, a remake and rework can be very good for a game, but sometimes. It can also be very bad, like, sometimes some of those that will remake it kind of miss the mark. And yeah, we, we also have the case with uh, when a remake or so just does not work at all. Just look at the GTA one. Uh, with, yeah, it was completely broken. And there's also uh, MDK2 HD, which had a game-breaking bug, which didn't let me progress any. So, yeah, when we get to that game, which is on the short list for things to do, we'll be using the original version. It must be true, then. You have more talent than I thought, but beware. Change is rarely for the better. There's something I, that's something I was forced to find out the hard way many, many years ago. I'm a fugitive from your world. I was persecuted and exiled by humans who feared the power of the fairy's magic and banned it. Those were terrible years, but I found a new home here in Sanzara, the fairy's own realm. Sanzara is a peaceful world, a magic paradise. I left behind my earthly name, and the inhabitants of Sanzara called me the White Druid. They created a home for me among the clouds. It was their way of thanking me for helping them when they were hunted by humans. Here, take this card as a sign of gratitude for your help. And he just slowly <laughs> walks over. And there we get it, the fairy card of Earth. So now... Uh, actually, do you have anything more to say? Is it doing the pole face? The what face? Hog face. <laughs> I don't even know what that face would look like. Let's see. The fairy card of you Earth is a powerful spell. If you own this card and have a stone fairy as your active fairy at the same time, you can overcome the rocks that are blocking the pots in Tanzara. Realm of Clouds. The Realm of Clouds is my new home. To the north lies the White Cathedral, my homestead. No other place in Tanzara is as pure nor as magical. Okay. So, yeah, now we swap to Jum Jum, which has been tagging along for like three streams now. <laughs> and finally, he can be of use. Um, Hillian? You may want to check out chat. Yeah, Noon is spamming emotes again. And boom, there goes. I think he's wearing Pog Face. Okay, yep, another Tinnifal. I think I remember these things be supposedly being a lot more rare. You might be lucky. And also... I... For some reason I could see you as a fairy building something like that. <laughs> Just a ship version of it. All with the... Uh, tiny crossbow shooting... Uh, sewing people at people. So, okay, that sounds uh, actually outright painful. Uh, so, like uh, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, helicopter design. Uh, then again, I don't. If I remember correctly, that thing would never have flown, anyways, because you'd have to, <laughs> you'd have to paddle it so hard. You would, yeah, you wouldn't be able to get it off the ground in any case. At most, you probably just bounce around yeah, a bunch. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, if I recall right, Mythok has tried it a few times even. Okay, they, well, they have tried each a, time. a lot of things. Yeah, um, and I think that yeah. was many times that it almost broke to be able to reach those speeds it needed to fly. 
Okay. No, so let's get rid yeah. of this one. Not your speed. Also, might not been stirred enough. Well, cloth is pretty, uh, pretty easily to damage. Oh yeah, I almost want to refer to the wood it was almost breaking. And yeah, I just remembered something with switching. You can also switch fairies by just rolling around the mouse wheel and then clicking attack to swap to the selected fairy. Now, where are you hiding? Really is going to make us charge for that long and waste it. Okay, let, let's just get rid of this one. Full charge should do it. Okay, one more little prick. There. Yeah, when you can use a rune teleportation, maybe buy a lot of Mogolics. Yeah. More levels for Jum Jum. We should probably swap him out and swap him out for the moment, since he's going to be <clears throat> pretty useless in combat. Let's grab that. Why am I yawning so much? <laughs> uh, am I boring you that much, huh? No, not boring. You're weirdly tired. I, I slept well. I slept longer than usual, even. Okay. No. I did open the window in case I needed a bit more fresh air. And noticed that the neighbors are not being noisy this evening, so... Maybe mm -hmm. I... Feel tired because I have the door closed as well. Uh, maybe it's in part so, because, you know, uh, because of lack of fresh air. Yeah, hmm? It could be that some of your sleep was just lower quality due to uh, all of the noise before. Well, they didn't just. They were noisy, but they, they were quiet when I went to sleep. So basically, they were being damn loud. But they knew when, to sh when it was time to stop, at least. <clears throat> okay. Oh, uh, now that we have the Earth cards, we can get rid of that rock that was blocking the way yep. on the other path. And yeah, now is when the levels are starting to get a bit further apart. No, do not want a cat since we already have one. Oh dear. Um, we haven't gone this way, I think. Yeah, of course, no Luria. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need to stock up on garlic it atomizers. And for some reason, the FPS is dipping up quite a bit during during the battles. For some, okay. Now, as I say that, the, the FPS jumps back to sixty, or at least fifty-nine FPS. Let's see. We have lost 5.5% of all frames so far, though, so something is causing slowdown. Hmm. Oh. Well, it is an old game. It could just be that the the graphics card is having issues uh, figuring, trying to figure out how to work these old systems. Yeah, very likely. Windows update. <laughs> uh, are you are you suggesting that we blame also, the Windows update for that, or to just to say that we need to update Windows? Maybe you could blame Windows for that. I guess. Also, I, I remember I saw a weird thumbnail uh, the other day. Oh. Yesterday, even I think. I have to. Sh I, I can check it up later, but it seems to be suggesting you can play Fortnite on a PS2. Okay. 
Genesis and Artinafall. I, I, I do not remember these being so bloody plentiful. Might be just pure luck at this moment. There we go. <laughs> Instant toast. Uh, I should eat more toast during breakfast. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what? What? Where did that come from? <laughs> Nowhere really. But yeah, having something, at least one warm thing during breakfast, does generally help, I think. Uh, is there wake a way? up? Yeah. I guess, especially if you're cold winter morning, then some hot chocolate and a toast would... Well, that sounds damn good. A toast and a cup of hot chocolate. That, okay, that, that sounds like a damn good combo. For a moment, I thought you meant uh, chocolate paste on toast. I'm not sure how that would work. Lad! Or if that would work. Danes De are known for having special chocolate in chips that you put on a freshly made toast just for the, okay. to let the sh dark chocolate melt on the bread. Okay, I don't tasty. think we have that. Coins, herbs, okay, potion coins. No idea if you can do that with Nutella, though. Let's so double check. I suspect Nutella is a bit more mightier. Yeah, I, I, in the Netherlands here we have multiple thing, multiple chocolate things that you could put on bread as well, in sprinkles or flakes at the, and also just paste like Nutella. Um, boing Please boing. Don't, no, don't use the term flakes. Don't, don't use the term flakes, please. Um, but, but I, <laughs> I, I haven't had any of those in like 10 years or so. I used to eat them a lot. Yeah. But not anymore. Yeah, I used to eat it when I was at the ex-friend's home. See, mana but, is but, okay. Uh, it, it, I only recently fell in, back in love with liver paste. This is so good. And thanks to Hillian, I actually tried to put liver paste on toast. And it's that good. Special sports bread. Which is... Could be a healthy, but it has a lot of good flavor to it. Seems to have a lot of seeds on it. Yeah, liver... Uh, uh, liver worst, as we call it here. Uh, it does, it does taste a lot better when it's a bit heated. It, it tastes both heat, good heated or non-heated. And I, I buy the ones that you can uh, bread on... Bread on butter? What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, that sentence! <laughs> uh, basically, it's, uh, you can put it on the bread like butter. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> bit of a teleport again there. And nothing hidden here. Um, but yeah, oh, just as I'm about to speak up again, uh, we have an air fryer over here, and I've been just putting uh, simple sandwiches in that for like a minute or so, uh, a lot more often. And yeah, in my opinion, that does help make things a bit, a lot more tasty. Are you telling me you make French nights? Yeah, not sure what that's supposed to mean with it. Uh, I don't know the English name for it, but apparently... Oh, wait, I think it's called French nights in English, but we in Sweden call it... Fattigaridare, which... Basically, it translates to uh, Knights of Poor, Poor Knights. Yeah, he's still not. As he's in still not sounds familiar. <laughs> uh, I think it's when you put uh, 
When you cook uh, slices of bread in a frying pan with butter, a lot of butter. Okay, not like that, no. Basically, just uh, like a chicken or ham sandwich and just warm it for a minute or so in the air fryer. Makes the bread a bit uh, crispier. <laughs> just getting around just left, right, and center it, here. I don't think that counts as toast. No, it doesn't. Well, that, that, but well I guess I... it's fried bread. <laughs> Uh, that reminds me of something, a, a, a simple recipe by uh, Gord... Was it Gordon Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay or Jamie Oliver? Uh, basically make a cheese sandwich with two different types of cheese. One cheddar and one local. Okay. And yeah, just mix them together. Um, I, f I forget specifically how he does everything. I think he actually puts in uh, more cheese than you actually need so that some of it pours out and come on. And then you, j then you grill it in a pan instead of in a toaster. And you grill both sides. Uh, the reason that why, you have, why you should put in a bit more uh, cheese than needed would be so that it actually spills out. So you can, so you actually end up with a bit of a cheese spill around it that you can just pull, uh, pull loose with a spatula, and then fold over the sandwich after you sw uh, flip it over. So basically, you end up with uh, bread, cheese, bread, and then cheese again. Oh, that sounds so good. And since it's hardened, it doesn't melt uh, or stick to your fingers. Nice. Crystal sphere. I, I think that's... I think that's French night. Or, fr or was it French toast? Pro French toast, maybe. Might be French toast I'm thinking about. Yeah, it should be pretty simple to look up how that, that recipe. And, well, it is just cheese and bread. But just, uh, yeah, Gordon Ramsay, yeah. Celia, that's it. That's a bit thin since we've seen those, since the mountain. But yeah, just Google Gordon Ramsay cheese sandwich or Jamie Oliver cheese sandwich, and either of the two will get you a good result. Well, probably both will give you a good result. I very much doubt that one or the two hasn't made a video or something about how to make, or a recipe of making simple but good cheese sandwiches i i actually forgot the uh, oliver existed however you did remind me of, of a uh, oh. bit of an incident uh, gordon ramsay was in that he oh. kind of accidentally humiliated himself in oh he uh, i see many people from that country react to it even some VTubers that, that is from that country. Like, I forgot the name of the dish. It was said he was to do a special dish, and it was not the dish at all. He made the wrong dish. <laughs> okay. Completely. Like, they uh. had some similarities, but it was quite different, and he. He even pronounced it very wrong to begin with. And many of them are quite prideful of this dish. And, and okay. I think it was Costa Rica, per No, not Peru, but somewhere around that uh, Central America, near Mexico or something. I have to double check that. But yeah. The people of the country were raw. They were not hating him, but they were face palming. And some of them were almost screaming like, No! No, don't do that! So basically, when, uh, when, so, yeah. when you're cooking spaghetti for an Italian and you break the spaghetti, that's supposed, from what I've heard, people who, actually, who really care about the spaghetti will just get absolutely pissed at you for that. Uh. I only break them if I need to. 
You have found the old arena of the fairy masters, Amy. This is where the best fairy masters would meet to let their fairies fight. They gathered here from all over Sanzar. The goblins came from the swamp, the dwarves from the mountains, and the elves from the dark forest. But now the once so glorious arena is haunted by a malicious shadow elf. He is supported by the evil dark fairies, particularly powerful and dangerous creatures from the depths of Sanzara. Be careful, Amy. And it seems that the shadow elves aren't the only ones who can teleport, seeing as he beat us here. You're actually just going to stand there, stare creepily? Come on. And it's uh, this little wander again. Okay. Napoleon! Okay, I, I thought this would bring us to the save st uh, to screen, but no, it, this is just a quick uh, a quick way to save. That That's really neat. Very neat. Okay, Tinazar, Jum Jum, you're going to the back since you are, well, basically just going to be a rock <laughs> in this fight. Oh, I fight remember, uh, do we have a uh, thief? Fairy named after noon? Yeah, we have it in storage at uh, London. Oh. At least at noon we be in London and enjoy scones, biscuit, and tea. No, we can he can name another fairy if he'd like. God, the fairy mistress from the prophecy. You came in vain. Quinlan the Dwarf Master gave me the Staff of Rule, the symbol of the bond between the Shadow Elves and our brothers, the Dwarves. Together we will decide the fate of Zanzara. Only you are still in the way, but that can soon be changed. And I believe this is a special fight as well. Because we're facing a Segboss and a bunch of... <laughs> a bunch of Manoxes and Turnox... <laughs> Uh, yeah, they are cheating hard, I think. Because they are... Let's count. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Two more than a fairy deck would allow. What? But that's mostly because, well, they're uh, ganging okay. up. I just noticed their wings are weird. I heard of having four wings before, but... Those are more like two wings merged into halfway into one. Okay, I saw. Oh, come on! I'm, I'm most. I swapped to Bonaria just to get rid of the seg buzz, but now we should be f safe to take on the rest here. This would norm. This would be a pretty tough fight since well, they're ganging up on us. But we've got Oceana, which gives us a, quite an advantage against them, even though they are chipping away at our health. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I agree. Mountain woodland sounds more pleasant than a big city. Where are they? I should probably stop charging spells when I don't have line of sight on them, because we have only six shots left. Ow. Okay, that's another one gone. Actually, we have this second spell still. Okay, ah, there you are. It's not as powerful, but it'll still hurt them. There we go. Yeah, without a water fairy or another type that is powerful against dark fairies, that would be a very hard fight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and, I can see that. And that still wasn't enough that, to get a level. Why would you disaster? Uh, oh, but it should have been. <laughs> yeah, well, most of them were level 19. It was more a challenge due to them just ganging up. It, at the same time. You've learned a lot since you're done more experience, Amy. But even if I'm losing Quinlan's Staff of Rule to you now, the Shadow of the Shadows of Sanzar will prevail in the end. The Staff of the Dwarf Master is lost bearer with Quinlan. And the fact that they have it is a problem. 
But first, let's heal back up. Okay, and one fairy remains, or two actually. The fairy mistress. They're just in time. I'm Miss Yuan, uh, a light fairy, the custodian of the old arena. That evil shadow elf entered my territory and brought these sinister dark fairies with him. I didn't stand a chance. As if it weren't enough, they set that revolting little chaos fairy on me. It's terrible. Help me get rid of this annoying chaos fairy behind me, and I will allow you whenever, and I will follow you wherever you go. Show that beast. And yeah, it's okay. a side boss. So, kill it. Let's swap to Bonaria, and this thing should go down in a hit or two. That thing makes me think of is it like a hype between a humanoid, a fly, and a mosquito. <laughs> Basically, kill it with fire. Yeah, and it is ugly. And you. Okay, 36. There we go. You saved me from the pest. I'm eternally grateful. This arena will be a lonely place for a long time to come, so I will follow you on your important mission. And, yeah, Suan. This fairy's iridescent gown, uh, gown shimmers with like sunlight. Some humans see nothing but a brimstone butterfly when Suan flutters through their lands. Only a very few know her true magic. And with that, I think that we've completely covered everything, well, just about everything, of the Realm of Clouds. The only thing we have in there is some areas that are blocked off, uh, well, behind air eddies, for which we need the fairy card of air. It's got a good timing for streams on the trend. Mm. If that isn't from the Staff of Rule, you found it on a Shadow Elf? That makes this dwarf artifact a valuable piece of evidence. Take it to Tyrolin. The mayor of Tyrolin should be able to tell you more about the artifact. Maybe we'll be able to find out who's behind the evil in Zanzara thanks to you. Let's see. What do you know about the old arena? Once upon a time, collecting and training fairies was the highest art in, of all in Zanzara. Fairy fights would be held throughout Zanzara and fairy monsters met at the arena. So basically it was uh, the Pokemon world but fairies. <laughs> The best of them competed in fantastic ma ma magical duels. There were lavish celebrations where people danced and sang, but our traditions were lost. No, no inhabitant of Sanzara found a path to the arena for a very long time. The once so glorious buildings went to ruin, and the arena was forgotten. So basically, the Realm of Clouds is the uh, the Elite Four area of <laughs> Sanzara. <laughs> Origin of the Shadow Elves. Light and dark are close together. The world beyond the swamp is as sinister and full of shadows as this realm of cloud is radiant and light. It is the home <clears throat> it is the home of the shadow elves who have now left the darkness. Nobody knows who summoned them. And that is all. So yeah. Let's go over to Tyrolin and then I'll finally check chat. Let's see. I, I like tea, but I prefer the mountain woodlands over London. <laughs> okay. I come into that. And I, I, I agree with Noon there. Okay. Easy enough path to the mayor. I'm curious about what they could tell us about all of this. And where we'll have to go next. We found evidence in the Realm of Clouds. At last we'll know who is to blame for the plague that is torturing our beloved Tanzara. Hmm. Can that be? The artifact is Quinlan's Staff of Rule, without a doubt. So he must be the traitor who summoned the Shadow Elves. We've got to find and destroy him. We will organize a tournament of the Fairy Masters in the Great Tree in the Swamp. That way we will find the best Fairy Master in Tanzara. The winner will be sent to find Quinlan. The dwarves must be stopped. You should take part. Do you know how to get to the Great Tree? We do, because it's in Dunmore. Good luck in the tournament, then. The problem is, if we go to Dunmore, is that that elf is still blocking the way for us. The one who wants the Sagbuzz. 
The only problem is, we can't get seg bosses in the wild at the moment, I think. Or I'm not sure if we can ever get seg bosses in the wild ever. But we do know. Right, are you of telling one me elf. that we are. Now, we aren't stuck. But there is a way to get a seg bus. Oh, Amy. Uh, I am so unhappy. I lost my favorite fairy seg bus in a fairy duel. I can't possibly take part in the tournament in the old tree without it. Some fairy masters find Chaos Fairies a little gruff, but I love my seg bus. Its wings are so delicate and its nose is so sweet. You can only trade your active fairy if you have my beloved Sagbus selected as your active fairy. So yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess some idiots actually bet their fairies in their duels. But there is one place Don't or one. Do that, people. <laughs> yeah, there is one person that, or one elf that we know of who has a Sagbus and said that they were willing to trade. So, actually, I believe we need to go one step away again for that. Also, let's just check here. Number 75. Pretty high hit points, dexterity, and special, but it's very low jump. Then again, in a uh, in a gown like that, it would make sense for them to be way down. So, let's go to London. And have another look around the place. Here we have uh, Luria. <laughs> Just browsing the internet, I'm guessing, when we're not here. <laughs> we're probably having to, uh, we'll probably have to erase our browser history when we come back next time. Mentor is just slinging oh, in the bathroom. Yeah. And downstairs, we have. Suan over here, actually. And, oh, now Mentor came down along with Tinnafol and <laughs> the other one, or Goriel, to watch TV. I don't actually know oh, how many no. will actually be displayed <laughs> here. And there we have uh, Noon's Fairy, along with Darbieu. Okay. Uh, let's put Mancre away, if we can. Or are we forced to have five fairies now? Either way, let's swap out Su for Suan. And put them first. And now I keep pressing that. I keep opening the book instead of the rune you know, tab. We head back to Tyrolin. And go to the shopkeep. Because... Uh, Yep, come on, there we go. Then it's the next shop, the next door over, I believe. Yep, this one. And, uh, yeah. This one's looking for a Suan. Uh, rumor has it that you found a dwarf staff of rule and a shadow elf. Never did trust those dwarfs. Anyone who lives underground can't be up to any good. It's true, then. The dwarves have formed an alliance with the Shadow Aye. Elves. And, yeah, we'll have to trade this sentient fairy for that ugly little fucker. At last, my fairy collection is complete. Here, take this psych buzz. There is to be a large tournament in the old tree in the swamp. The best fairy masters will be competing there. Whoever wins the tournament will be sent to find the traitor Quinlan and stop him. You, you should take part in the tournament, Amy. I, I do like that they put up a tournament to determine uh, <clears throat> who to send after them instead of just automatically you know, going for the, the chosen one. Yeah, I, don't, I, I feel like they should give a job to conclusion. I, I, sometimes when the rest of the dwarves did not know that a leader did that. Yeah, and they might as they, just as well they could have stolen the staff. Yeah, he is stolen, and he could not, like he was missing after all. Oh, he is missing. Okay, just 
My fairy, you found my favorite fairy, Sagbaz. Can I have it back? I can give you one of my fairies in exchange. I think what he... I don't think I actually thought about this, but I think this actually means that he lost to the shopkeep. Oh! <laughs> Dumbass, take your ugly bug. Uh, take your ugly bug. Okay, thank you. Now I have now I've got Sagba, so I can take part in the tournament. Thanks to you, I'm bound to win. Here, have this war god as a token of my thanks. And yeah, he trades it for this stupid thing. <laughs> Uh, oh, come on. And how he even gets past... How he actually gets past it... Oh, come on. Okay, let's deal with That's this guy. He's horrible, he's straight out. A very good fairy for... Just end up being that. Yeah. That is a stupid thing I would really say I would, I would like to see changed in a remake because I'm not I'm not sure if you can get another Su Suan in this game or not or Suan well, however you're supposed to pronounce it we'll just have to find out eventually yeah. and yeah, yeah Morgan has the same stupid kind of laugh if he's mean to her as well if he's mean to her actually yeah like <laughs> We fought, we helped her, and then suddenly we trade her away? Yeah. Dude, it I guess that feel... means it's a bit karma we get a very fairy. Yeah. Okay, we've hit 10 p.m., but let's continue on a little bit more to the Great Tree to show where that, well, where that is. And it should be just in the next screen over. Also, uh, by the fact by oh. the fact that uh, this bush was still here, I'm guessing Janice just had to wade through the muck to get over. Ugh. Uh, and you you can actually get Amy killed in the muck if she sinks too deep. I think I said that before. Uh, oh, come on. Yep. Uh, don't eat it. Don't eat the mushroom. I mean, I mean, we kick your ass from inside. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I just realized that might be a very poor word of phrasing. Or he could probably do that literally. Oh, this one has a lot of health. Uh, also, I think you mixed it up there a bit. Uh, I, I think you meant to say phrase of wording or... Wait, what did... It took out Tinna's art? Okay. Uh, do we have an escape okay. point? As it uh, is, yeah, we that's... need to go back and get rid of the ugly bug. Yeah. We can swap out Darbio. Actually, yeah, let's just let's just go Are to you London. To French? Hmm? Yep. Uh, you see London? It sounds like you try to sound French. <laughs> no, I mean you, you uh, actually the have a French fairy. accent. <laughs> uh, unintentionally, then. But yeah, get rid of this <laughs> stupid thing. There. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have our three main fairies. We have the Jum Jum at the moment to deal with any rocks that we come across. And yeah, yum, I'll yum, see yum, which yum, of our yum. other, I'll, I'll see which of our other fairies would be a good fit for a fourth, to cover, yeah, you know, to cover any weaknesses that these three do not. There, we know at least that Darbieu has a, is powerful against water fairies, and I believe maybe air as well. Actually, let me grab the chart. Uh, energy good against water, psi. And the secret uh, fairy type as well. So not too many actually, <sighs> but still at least one that we ha one that we have no advantage against at the moment. All right, let's swap over to this. As that swap over to there we go. Uh, yeah, th that'll be some Zard for today. Let me look for someone to raid. And I get yeah, the access ready.
<laughs> uh, I... <laughs> Mute sight. There we go. Let's see. We have Lil Tree who's playing Genshin Impact. Maybe I could actually join them on that. We had, and that's the, that's the only actual streamer that I know of that, that I know personally who yeah, is on. And well, the the camera is kind of blocking the list, so let me make that smaller. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. There is someone playing Hardship Ship. <laughs> Again, I I screw up that stupid name. <laughs> As much as I've played that. Hard Space Shipbreaker. Someone is playing that. There's also someone playing a game called Icarus. That I, I don't know that. Well, I've not heard that. That's a game I've not heard in ages. <laughs> uh, there's also someone streaming Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Uh, the Professor Layton's you know, games are a series of puzzle games. I've never played one myself. And there's also someone playing Guacamelee 2, which is actually a game I plan to stream myself at some point. Uh, if I can find someone to co-op it with, I definitely would. But uh, yeah, who do you, who yeah, would you say that we should stream? It's not me. Yep. <laughs> who, do, who, yeah. who would you say we should raid? We have Lil Tree. We have someone playing uh, Professor Layton. I, I Someone playing Icarus. I say Lil Tree. Hard. Okay. I say Lil Tree in this. sense. She, she raided us before, so we should return the favor. How yeah. do we use the new cannon? <laughs> yeah, and I might, if they, if they'd allowed me, I would join them on Genshin <laughs> as well. Uh, I'll check out this. Uh, who, I'll check out this streamer who's streaming uh, Shipbreaker on my uh, myself some other time. But uh, for now, copied Lil Tree's name, go to the own channel, and slash raid paste, and to not ra rush us, I'm just I'm not going to start the raid just yet. So uh, let's see, Zanzara, we should still be able to get a good amount of streams out of that. Uh, I'm thinking three Lally. to four, perhaps. Uh, we are getting, we are past the halfway oh. point, I'm pretty sure. But it could still take a bit of time until we're done with that game. <clears throat> yeah, and also Ooh. depend on if we, if we need to grind off screen. Yep. Uh, I also need to double check who, which fairy or which fairy type would be a best to, uh, to fill in a fourth slot at the moment. Uh, yeah. yeah, normally oh, we would have streamed. You're welcome, yeah. Noon. Uh, I, I, I need. I still need to put up something here behind that to actually. I can. I could do that right now just to get it done with, so I don't forget for once. So add a an flag image, banner, perhaps. Add existing. Uh, let's see. There should be. Hmm. Okay, it isn't among the existing at the moment, so I'll just create a new one. Browse and I should have a white ground picture somewhere in my video work folder. There we go. White. No, that is that is far too big. Let's Did shrink you... that down. Then we flip it. What the heck, Killian? What the heck? <laughs> and then we move it down a bit. There we go. That'll make that a hell of a lot easier to read. <laughs> going yeah, flashbang, Pete. I agree. That was flashbang indeed. That was going, moving it up, not down. Uh, it, it's covering chat uh, at least. Uh, let me just. This is why we don't let the helium D with navigation. <laughs> uh, let's see. That size is the wrong one. Then it's. Uh, this one here. There we go. Okay. Uh, actually, we can move this down. Okay. Uh, anyways, yeah, normally we would have streamed Minecraft on Sunday, but yeah, since I had to work four night shifts in a row, I, we didn't get to stream for four days in a row as well. So, yeah, we put in Sanzara instead, like we put in Sanzara yesterday as well, instead of Monkey Island. So tomorrow, we'll be streaming Monkey Island instead. 
And after that, on Tuesday, wait, wait, we'll, that... we'll actually take a break. Uh, wait, does that make Monday suddenly Monkey mon Day? Monkey Day? <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah uh yeah monday monkey tuesday we'll take the day off otherwise we'll be streaming four days in a row and i also plan to just stream try and stream in on the next week as well outside of monday so otherwise it, we'd be streaming for like five days in a row if we try to so tuesday we're just going to take a rest day <laughs> monkey day yeah <laughs> <laughs> um yeah beyond that uh I, I brought this up before corvel's minecraft server should still be working uh, or at least they they should have they, they probably paid for it to be up again otherwise the uh, we'll check that out next week though on sunday uh, though i'd probably prefer to go back to all the mod 7 since we actually get a lot more done there I'll, I'll probably still pop up on Corafel's server, maybe outside of streams. Because, yeah, we don't get yeah, too much done. And also we still, we still, yeah, we should also investigate because people still are playing it to begin with. For, when you were playing it, for, you said yourself the activity was very low. Mostly because, yeah, most of the people on the, and there are Americans, so, and we're in Europe. So most of them would be, well, either working or probably sleeping, uh, sleeping in late when we'd go uh, online. Uh, pretty taken. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah, let's get this raid started and start our outro. Um, Fire the yeah. cannons! <laughs> Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially Noon for showing up and chatting along. And you as well, of course, Dirk here. Oh, you're most welcome, my captain. And yeah, uh, like I said multiple times now already, Monkey Island may... I think we, I think we should still be able to get two streams out of that. Maybe we will be able to finish it tomorrow. Uh, maybe not. We'll just have to see how things go. Uh, but after we're done with that, we'll have to see what we should swap in or if we should uh, lower the amount of streams or attempted streams from 4 to 3 in a week. Because 4 is a bit much still. But it's a uh, good amount, but due to your job, 4 becomes a bit of a hassle. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how that will go. There is a bit of a debate going on about the schedules and such, uh, but we'll have to see how that goes. For now, though, thank you everyone again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for mermaids. Come on, stupid button. <laughs>